What's up YouTube? Zero here. Welcome to the place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today, we're going to be doing the historian roots in Outriders as the Technomancer. I'm trying to post a bunch of different gameplay from each of the different classes. I know I've done a bunch of Pyromancer, so now I'm trying to post a bunch of Technomancer as I'm going through the game as the Technomancer. And then I'm eventually going to get into the Trickster and Devastator. So if you're interested in gameplay from the different classes, go and check out those videos. As of making this video, I don't have much on the Devastator and Trickster, but I do have a ton on the Pyromancer. My first playthrough was the Pyromancer, beat the game as the Pyromancer. Now I'm very close to beating the game as the Technomancer, so be on the lookout for those videos and be on the lookout for an amazing Technomancer build. It's pretty much going to be what I'm using in this video but at level 30. So I'm going to be doing a level 30 Technomancer build in the near future as the Tech Shaman, and you're going to see this build in action at level 30. I'm loving this build, and I hope you all do as well. So we are playing the Historian Roots in this gameplay. I am at level 19 on World Tier 8, if that is something that you are interested in. You may be around where I'm at at this point in the game, you may be a lot more, you may be a lot less, I don't know. You can be so many different things in this game depending upon how you want to play it. But that is where I'm at. I haven't been going into other people's games. I've just been playing straight through on my game. And I've been loving it. I've been loving Outriders. I've been doing some lore videos, so check those out as well. This one is all of the creatures. We're facing the creatures in the Historian Roots. So you have to be aware of those rushers they can get up on you pretty quickly and they do cause you to bleed when they slash at you they have caused me to bleed in other clips playthroughs as well so be on the lookout for those and then you have those big guys those big guys that rush you and you can freeze them midair i love being able to do that as the technomancer focusing on freeze and being able to just freeze an enemy mid-air it's really this build is focusing on freezing enemies you may want to call me mr freeze playing as this type of technomancer but we're just gonna call it the tech shaman because that's the tree we are pretty much going in so i am a tech shaman aka mr freeze but let's continue going on we are actually coming close to the end again you have to watch out for these big guys who jump at you Try to freeze them if you can, if you're playing as the Technomancer, you might be playing as something else. If you're playing as the Pyromancer, you may want to burn them, or ash them, or something along those lines. The Trickster, you may want to slow them. The Devastator, I don't know what the Devastator got, because I don't have, know much about the Devastator. But, got to level 20, which is awesome, and we have this one last area. So we went through the first area, no big deal, there are... Pretty much the typical creatures and a couple of big guys so be on the lookout for those big guys don't try to rush up too quick or all of them will jump at once try to take them out slowly but surely then this next area this final area is a little bit harder there are going to be a lot of enemies rushing you at once so i recommend trying to keep those little guys off of you you do have the medium range enemies that are going to try and toxic you and you're going to have some more big guys there he is, as I'm saying it, right on cue. Thank you for showing up. But you have some of those big guys, you have some of the small guys, so try and take out the small guys first. You don't want to try and take them out all at once because it may be very difficult if they all get on you at once. So try and take out some of these smaller guys at once, and then you could take out some of those range toxic guys i don't know what they're called but some of those medium range y'all know what i'm talking about the medium range guys and then again if you have the build that i'm using something with freeze just try and freeze these enemies before they get on you because if they swarm you they can do a lot of damage there are a lot of enemies in this final area. Just be aware of that. You're going to have a couple of big guys continually coming out. You're going to have a lot of small guys coming out. So if you can keep them off of you, that would be great. If you can't, if you're a closer range player, 
do what you gotta do. Get shield, whatever. Just try and make sure that they don't swarm you almost like they did there. I was a little lucky to get out of there. My health was weaning down, but I was able to just jet between a couple of enemies and then finally take out the big guy, gain some health back while some of the other enemies were free. So two big guys attack me. Just be aware of that, that two big guys can attack you at once. So try and do your best to maybe keep both of them off you at once. You don't want both of them attacking you at once. So we are down to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just showing some gameplay of the historian roots. Let's go get this historian artifact and end the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Outriders content. Until next time, peace.